For an EMF, we got a battery. Power everything with it. Generate the volts for all the loads in the complete unit. Dead parts in series. Stop everything through it. That's why light circuits are in parallel unit. Energy over time is power. Energy is kilowatts times hours. You wanna find a delta V or R? I equals delta V over R. Without a complete path, there's no flow, the circuit's open. A battery is the EMF, the source is chosen. If everything's connected, then the circuit's closing. If one bull bursts in series, then the circuit's broken. The potential difference the same, it's typical. In parallel, the equivalent resistance, the reciprocal. The resistors is a deterrent. In the series, the resistors have the same current. Energy over time is power. Energy is kilowatts times hours. You wanna find I delta V or R? I equals delta V over R. The equivalent resistance in the series circuit is the sum of the circuits. Resistance is perfect. In parallel, 1 over R EQ equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and so on and so on. The variable symbols of resistance is ohms. And for current, the measured in amperes. Potential difference is measured in volts. See here? Energy over time is power. Energy is kilowatts times hours. You wanna find I delta V or R? I equals delta V over R. Resistor combination. Complex circuits involve series and parallel portions. Understand circuits and series of parallel by simplifying them to equal resistors. Work backwards to find the current and potential difference across a part of circuits. To find equal resistance, start by grouping resistors to one line. Identify components in series and parallel to calculate equivalent resistance. Repeat these steps till the circuit is reduced to a single resistance. Now this is a beautiful schematic, look at how the volts flow, resistors in series in a row, short circuits are a big no. Now this is a beautiful schematic, look at how the volts flow, resistors in series in a row, short circuits are a big no. You got the power to let power go?